Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another day on the Free Brew account, day 73, guys. We've got lots of stuff to talk about because finally we're having some progression on the missions for Arbiter. Let's go and check it out. I got 500 energy today. Tomorrow I'm getting a banner. Uh, it's going to be five star. Yeah. And then on, wait, what's that? Tuesday, it's going to be a legendary skill tone, which I'm excited about. And then by day 78, it's actually a sacred shard, which um, I'm going to keep until a, a 2x comes. So yeah. That's going to be until then. So let's get on with the fir first things first. Okay. I had the mission for void potions today. I did that. And then I started progressing through the missions, you know, with the final, the final push for all these missions. So, um, I had one for fire Knight. I spent like 300 energy there in fire Knight trying to get 10 pieces of five star, um, and above, I think. And then uh, from stage 10 and above. And then I had this mission for, um, spider 10 and above and get a five or six star banner it was pretty easy as a mission the idea behind it just one item but actually getting that one item is all rng so let me pick up what what we get today so one amulet one banner one uh one ring i think there so 150 energy here another epic skill book here now i need to do clan boss here guys so i need to do clan boss and get over 7.5 million damage. I do have one key. Let's go and quickly do this. And then I'll discuss uh, on what the um, what the progression is going to be next for the account. I was actually saving this key just for this video. And that's why I didn't do it on void. And I wanted to show the progression. Whoa, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say legendary, but it's a legendary skill book. I, it's like getting a legendary on a free to play. Okay. Uh, flat defense. That's not going to be worth it. Okay. Let's see what the next one is going to be. Okay, epic skill book. Okay, two books today. Speed accuracy on, on boots. Pretty good. I'm gonna keep those. So I'm very happy about the skill book. Very quickly, I will try to gamble this one book. Can we get it on the A2? It's gonna be a huge upgrade if we do. Please, A2, please. Oh, we got it on the A3. Man, that sucks. Okay, it's some increased damage there on the A3. And then we've got, what, four books here and then one book here. I really wanna get that A2 booked uh, sooner than later. But let's go and do are 7.5 million damage for sure. So nightmare uh, difficulty, the team is the same until I do an upgrade. Um, just just as an update for you guys, my Sunlash is now a five stars. So I will be trying to get that Sunlash going and uh, get her to six stars and see if she is actually a uh, pretty worthwhile champion for this account. So I did get one void shard from all these missions. So the last part of the, um, of the part three of the missions, what I will do is possibly just open one of them then just keep one void shard but on the one side i don't know i don't like opening void shards on the other side i need you know stuff like a cold heart which is going to be game changing for my account of course epics and legendaries are obviously upgrades for this account but the cold heart although extremely difficult to get is a rare and the chances to get her just decrease when i uh, open during a 2x so it's it's really a difficult decision to make honestly so here, where is the attack down? Oh, there's the attack down. We got a weak hit there. So probably on blue affinity, we might have some issues. Like I'm thinking about this because uh, my iron bracket will be getting stunned. I don't care about that. I care about the attack down, not landing. So we got some good damage going right now. Wait, do I have sounds enabled on the game? I hope it doesn't really sound so bad. I'll just disable them after this. Sorry, guys, if it's a bit too much. Don't know what happened to my settings, um, but okay. Where's the attack down? That's what we want in order to get a, a good amount of damage. So on the last boss affinity, I think it was spirit. My highest ever damage was 15 million. I did it yesterday. I was so excited about that, but it was because it was spirit. So I had three magic champions versus spirit and then only uh, my force affinity being the weak weak guy there but still what he needs to do is just apply those poisons and if he does happen to land the hit the poisons will still do their job without having to care about affinity once they've landed so as long as you land them then the damage is going to be there so that's why it's good to have a poisoner be the weak affinity and not your debuffer for decrease accuracy uh, decrease attack because decrease attack, if that doesn't land, especially in a clown boss after turn count 10, that's pretty much a, a death sentence, okay? There's the decrease attack, so here, notice the difference in damage that we receive. 
It's so huge. I hope Apothecary heals heals uh, himself now. Because he's very low. Okay, he, he got a crit there, I think. 22,000 heal. Usually heals for about 13,000. See. Okay, we're doing good, but we need a... Don't have a defense up. Whoa, there it is. Don't have a defense up. The attack up buff is there. Pretty much wiped out two of our strongest members. The decrease attack is there, but I mean, it's Apothecary and Brago. We're probably gonna go like 12 million. Best case. Right? Okay. Turn count 20 is when the boss actually becomes even stronger. Wow, oh, there it is. 11.79. That's good amount. We finished the clan mission uh, there. Let me let me quickly. Wow, the sounds. How did they get it enabled? I don't know. Okay, so guys, I've got this mission to finish. Get three days of an XP boost. That's pretty nice. It goes straight to here, so I have no choice but to pick it up. Unfortunately, there's the void shard. Reach gold one in classic arena. There it is. We get some more gems, and then finally fuse relic keeper. Uh, we have four million silver there. Uh, let me open up this one void shard. Come on. Cold Heart or a Legendary? Come on. No, nothing. And we get Felhound. Felhound is actually great. Felhound is actually even better than my uh, level 50 Runic Warder. Because um, Felhound has this on a two turn cooldown, the reflect damage instead of a three turn cooldown. He's even good, good um, as a farmer. So I can definitely level him up and just use him later on as a farmer. So pretty solid pickup there. I didn't. Didn't think of it as, as that. So, let's go and do the fusion, guys. Uh, we put everybody in there. Uh, hmm. What kind of items do I have on him? I'll need to check before I sacrifice him. So, my, my four sacrificial champions are here. Ready. Ready to go, basically. Let's see. Executioner has these boots with speed, defense, critical rate, and attack percent. It's a four star. Uh, it's just 20,000 to remove them, so I'll, I might as well. HP, 5 star. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to remove this. And then uh, critical damage gloves with critical rate subs at bat. It's a 4 star. 4 star are just so much weaker. Then these, this shield has a 14% critical rate. Yeah, I'm going to remove this. And then the weapon sucks, so I'm not going to waste any more of my... Um, of my silver. Sacrifice, okay. Sacrifice, sacrifice, let's go. We get the points also for the champion chase. So it does coincide, uh, thankfully. There, so 250 points easily acquired. Finish this, and finally, guys, we reach part four of the uh, Arbiter missions. Let's go and see how far we can get. So equip a champion with a ring, an amulet, and a banner. Okay, done. Unlock a tier six on a champion. Wow, look at all those. Ooh, and now what is this? Deal 10 million damage to a demon lord on a single affinity, single difficulty, minimum difficulty, hard. Yeah, we can definitely do this next. Unfortunately, we already did one key, but I think I've got one key more in 10 hours. Uh, not 10 hours, one hour. <laughs> one hour. So, uh, okay, I'll do that. Hopefully, I'll get over 10 million damage. I think I'll get it. And then reach goal 2 in Classic Arena. Done. Uh, Ice Golem farm. This seems easy, 10 times, stage 14 or higher, doable. For sure, Dragon's Lair, doable. Minotaur, doable. These are all doable, by the way. 14 or higher on the Fire Knight, doable. Stage 14 on Spider. I think it's doable. I can do um, 13 for sure, 14. I think it's doable. Equip two champions with the Ring Amulet. This is also doable, okay. Upgrade Great Hole bonus to level seven. That's gonna be extremely difficult just because of how um, how far away I am. So that's like 500 points away. 500 gold medals away. I'm gonna try and do it the fastest I can. And Spirit Keep 10 times on auto. So this is Tuesday. And then mix 10 superior spirit potions. Mm, this is gonna suck. So this is gonna be Wednesday. And then mix 10 superior magic potions. This is gonna be Friday. Force potions. Sunday. Void. And mix the void. And I think I'm done on that. And then we've got um, tier six mastery on, on for two champions. Gold three, that's doable. Then 15 million damage uh, on on the Demon Lord. This is doable. Okay, upgrade to Great Hole eight. Oh yeah, this is gonna take forever. 
Unlock tier 6 mastery for 3 champions. This is retrospective, so that's okay. And then, let me see. Golem, 15. Okay, that's doable, doable. Is there a spider here? Also, Fire Knight, spider. Oh, the spider one is going to be very, very tough. Very, very tough. 15. I have to think about that. And then great, great Hole bonus, level 9. Stage 15, 10 times on auto. Spirit Champion to 6 of Ascension. That's doable. And then Magic Keep. Force Keep. Yeah, this is going to suck. I don't even have a Force Champion. I think to level 6 of Ascension. I don't even have a champion to um, to give ascension to. Like, I only have had Althar, but... Man. Uh, gold 4 in Classic Arena, and then Great Hole bonus to level 10. And then th this is like the final countdown for Arbiter. But I'm so close, guys. Um, okay, let's just... Yeah, I'm just going to open this, this as well and, and hope for an epic. Oh! I did get an epic. Ooh. Okay, we get Godseeker and Niri. Nice. Attacks one enemy, heal the ally with the lowest HP by 5% of their max HP. Attacks all enemies, heals all allies by 15% of their max HP, then decrease the duration of all buffs on all enemies by one turn, and increase the duration of all buffs on all allies by one turn. Wow, this is huge, by the way. This is huge. Then revives the Dalai with 50% HP, then fills their turn by 50% and resets the cooldowns on all their skills. This is great. Uh, it goes on a 4 turn with just 3 books. And then, look at this. Look at this. On a, on a three, 3 ascensions, increase the amount of healing all allies receive by 10%. Amazing. If I do get her healing down to 3 turns, she's gonna be able to replace somebody. If an ally is about to get killed by the fatal hit, preempts that hit and it instantly places the revive on death buff on them for one turn before the damage is taken and then basically this just revives them so wow god secure and Eerie. pretty good champion um a solid pick right there let's see with the champion chase and where we are at so champion chase guys i do pick up this xp boost um yeah i'm just gonna pick it up because i've got too many xp boosts going already it would have gone on my uh, mailbox if i kept it there but um, I do have six days already going, so it's just gonna add up there. So I'm only 100 points away from 250 energy. I think I can get that just through Mystery Shards, just opening up Mystery Shards today. Um, just because I'll be farming with this 600 energy, I'll just be farming until the next uh, clan boss comes. But uh, definitely some pro progression. The thing is, the issue is, the biggest issue, um, Spider. As I told you guys, just beating the spider is going to be my biggest issue on this account. Now with Godseeker and Eevee, Fel Felhound, pretty solid champions that I've picked up. We've got this fusion warm-up event. You guys know that the fusion starts next week. And I will get one Void Shard. I'll keep this saved up because that's going to be in four days. You get 120 points per day. It goes for four days. If you do the whole thing, keep logging in every day, you get all these rewards, which are pretty nice uh, to have like 300 energy there for free, basically. Um, champion training, I don't think I'll get the uh, Ancient Shard in 17 hours. Although I do have a ton of energy right there. And I did pick up two Legendary Skill Tomes, guys. So let's try and get that A2 on Brago. Let's do one book. There it is. Okay. There it is on Brago. Um, we get the we get the cooldown reduced to three turns. So three turns duration on his increased defense. But um, the Provoke is four books away. So I'm not going to use my books just yet. I'll keep saving these legendary skill tomes and see in the future in case I do get another legendary that's worth it. Maybe I'll put it, the, the skill tomes on, on them instead, instead of Iron Brago. I know that the decrease attack is essential, but um, for now, there's no point in putting one book. If I do have four and no legendary champion until then, then they'll go on Iron Brago. Uh, in terms of quests, yeah, I've been doing my quests normally. There's a epic skill book coming soon, but those are much less needed now. So, the thing is, look at this, guys. Now, I, I was gonna level up Sandlash, but now that I have Godseeker and Niri, she's such a cool champion. She's gonna be healing on her A1. She cannot heal this champion, that's fine. By 5% of their max HP, that's fine. It's, it's on an A1. Tax all enemies, heals all allies by 15% of their max HP, then decrease the duration of all buffs, and increase the duration of all buffs on all allies by one turn. 
So she pretty much does the same thing as Sunlash. Like on the All Ally, but she also heals. So that's that's even better. So with Sunlash, I do get that ally protection when when any ally's HP drops below 50%. Also plays a block damage buff on this cool on this champion for one turn. So the ally protection goes for two turns on a four-turn cooldown when this is booked. Hmm. And I do love the passive effect of the healing. It means that. Yeah. I think this benefits the, the, the lifesteal sets also. So she's going to be benefiting from this. Um, giving this benefit to everyone. And also the revive on death is going to help survive a little bit longer. And she also has a revive on a 4 turns cooldown. Which isn't bad. And, and the reset cooldowns. Wow. Solid champion pick there. And I think Runic Warder is going to get replaced. Honestly. Uh, now with Felhound in the picture. So Felhound is such a worthy champion of uh, getting leveled up. At least a 50 for Fire Knight. But um, yeah, the decision between Sandlash now and God Secure Niri is going to be huge. And um, I'll have to think about it, guys. But I'll definitely be working and doing my best on this account. So now I've dropped to Gold 2. I wanted to drop to Gold 2 um, because I, was, I just couldn't farm. I'm, I just can't farm, guys. Uh, the medals. The, the teams are extremely difficult against me. So there's the defense down. Let me see. There's the... Uh, there's the provoke, not on everybody, but I try and get some kills going. There we go. She's gonna revive. So easy points here, and I'm gonna go back to uh, gold three. There we go. Extra turn. Yeah, it's fine. If she killed my high cartoon there, it's fine. Okay, one. Easy fight here, easy fight, easy, easy. Okay, these are easy. I'll do them in a bit. Guys, thank you a lot for watching day 73 of the Freebrew account. I'll do my best, guys, for progression. You see that I'm opening up my void shards without really having a 2x going. I think that's not ideal if you are just playing as a free-to-play, but if you are rushing as me just to get Arbiter, so 57 missions remaining, then definitely, um, definitely just think on what you want on the account and then go for that lag. Like, uh, right now, Gonna wait for one hour for this clan boss mission. I'll do this and then start progressing through these with this energy that I have five cruel set pieces. It's gonna be good for my eventual nuker for arena, which I don't know who's gonna be. I've got Saito, but Saito right now is my clan boss champion. So we'll see how that how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!